This podcast will be examining Luca Magnata's life in Lisbon, Portugal. As we are all aware, Luca Magnata was an international successful male escort and model. He was being paid enormous amounts of money to fly around the world and entertain his clients. Luca was living in Miami and Fort Lauderdale, Florida. He was meeting a lot of very influential clients. He became acquainted with a wealthy executive from Europe who flew him to Lisbon on a private jet. Luca was set up in a luxury home of his own, and he entertained this businessman for months. Luca and Hans, yes, the man's name was Hans, would go hunting, boating, and scuba diving. Hans would use Luca to solicit other good-looking young people. Hans needed Magnata to go out and find people for group sex and parties at the Lisbon mansion. Luca would spend his days lounging and bringing cute people home for f- for Hans. In return, Luca was paid large sums of money and given expensive jewelry. Claims that Luca was involved in Portuguese sex rings or human trafficking have been denied by Magnata. Allegations made on the internet and dark waves claim that Luca was involved in charity frauds where he and other people would go to the tourists and solicit money for non-existence orphanage. Luca also denied that he was involved in break and enters into hotels around the tourist areas. Other allegations exist where Luca was involved in the murder of Joanna Soprano, a missing girl. Luca has denied all these allegations. Luca also denied that he would sell people into human trafficking sex rings and make videos for the dark web. Throughout my interviews and investigations, I learned that Luca was traveling all over Portugal, and since he had a lot of stalkers, he made sure that he wasn't followed. So he would not use cell phones in his name. In fact, he preferred burner temporary phones. He wouldn't use his credit card or bank cards. He wouldn't log into his email or social media or call anyone, including relatives or friends. And he would dress as a woman sometimes. Luca also never used his own identification because he knew stalkers were obsessed with him, so he was very skilled at avoiding. Nobody can say where Luca was at any given extended period of time because Luca liked it that way. All the amateur armchair wannabe detectives can go fuck themselves. Also, on the contrary to the popular belief, Luca never took photos of the majority of his life. Only about 10% of Magnato's life is documented by photos. Nobody really knows anything about Luca or his life. People only know about Luca at trial, and nothing else, really. The media did an absolute horrible job reporting on the Magnata case in his trial. The majority of the things the media reported on were all sensational lies. So back to Lisbon. Hans was originally from Switzerland, and I will be doing another podcast soon specifically about Hans. Because everything that I've learned about him and Luca is very interesting. They both left Portugal went to Switzerland for some time. Luca was also in a short romance with a friend of Hans, a woman named Claudia for a month. I've seen some video footage of them on the boat, which I might release one of these days. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. If you did, share, like, and comment. Thanks, everyone.